Ron Davari is joining us. He is the founder and CEO of Nuo Capital. So, Ron, what are you going to be watching for this week? Um, actually, industrial production is going to be a big deal uh, because but the momentum there is going to be positive. I think it's going to continue. Manufacturing is going to be leading this uh, uh, economic crisis, uh, uh, leading us out of this economic crisis. But the housing numbers continue staying weak, even though uh, month over month they may be positive. Uh, but you know the weather obviously in February is going to be uh, uh, affecting things on a negative side of uh, side of things. Uh, but uh, all in all, I think we have an oversupply of housing in general in the U.S., so we don't expect that to be a main driver of the economy, uh, economic growth going forward. You know, these are off very, very low numbers. Uh, so they're not going to be material to the general economy, but, but it's, uh, it's a good telltale sign whether there is any uh, uh, heartbeat there at all. And Jenna mentioned a bunch of the earnings out, Merck, Hewlett Packard, yeah. Walmart all out this week. What should we look for? The, the good news for the, on the earnings front going to continue? Uh, very, very much so. I think these are, you know, uh, things like Walmart, obviously, they've both had a good strategy and also uh, they're, they're a good indicator of the U.S. economy in general. And we have been, uh, in a way, on a tear. So they should actually uh, show good, well, better numbers. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that earnings news uh, a little later on in the show. As far as the economic news on the housing market, sure. you play a lot in the debt market. Uh, yes, we uh, do. You say there's an oversupply of, house, uh, of homes in that type of inventory out there's there. There's an oversupply, yes. So what does that mean for how you're playing the debt market? Are you, are you playing uh, we, residential, real oh, estate, yeah, yeah. commercial? Well, residential and commercial are the it, bottom line. Credit is still very tight. Uh, uh, people are not able to actually get. Uh, is that good for you guys? Uh, it's good for the distressed players like us. Obviously, <laughs> we don't want to overpay for these. But unfortunately, last uh, last uh, seven or eight months, we had seen a, a the banks were not selling, and uh, the uh, the uh, alternative players were actually too aggressive. Too many novices, I think. You know, has uh, brought up a whole bunch of what I consider uh, non-distressed players acting like distressed players, mm. and. I think uh, the, uh, the 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 uh, the actual uh, 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 defaults, the actual REOs, uh, uh, real estate owned means foreclosures. We know we anticipate anywhere from four to uh, eight million of uh, foreclosures in the United States in general. Those are astronomically high. Wow! Yeah. And uh, you know that's the hidden supply, mm -hmm. and and that you know we're seeing continually seeing, uh, even you know essentially as I say one one in four. Uh, a, a mortgage borrower is already underwater, and we are not seeing yet one in four defaulting. So there's kind of that catch twenty two going on there because sure. we're seeing the uh, the inventories have been shrinking, but yet we still have so many more foreclosures that are forecast sure. yet to come onto Absolutely. the market. So I think we were had so much oversupply over the last uh, you know uh, three or four years. The builders were just. Uh, you know, building uh, as if there was no end to it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, obviously it's going to be very geographically dependent. Florida, California, Arizona, Nevada, these are extremely oversupplied markets. So don't anticipate, uh, we don't anticipate much of life in these markets other than uh, really uh, flippers. Flippers are going to have a great time. You know, buy them and sell them. All right, Ron. <laughs> From New York Capital, you're going to stick with us. Thank uh, you so I'll much. Try. I think we. All right, Ron Davari is back with us to talk a little bit more about earnings. Yeah. Ron, size up the earnings season so far for us. I think it's been actually uh, pretty positive in general, but in line with uh, people's expectations because the economy has been uh, growing from the from the bottom side. You've seen the manufacturing numbers. You know, retail has been positive. A lot of that has been on the back of really uh, low inventories. So. We expect that that, that will uh, bring up the inventory demands and, and the production will pick up. So industrial production is going to be a key number to watch uh, because you want that, to have that continue growing, which means that there is uh, the industrial you know, equipment demand is going to be uh, uh, you know, the, the, a, key, a key indicator as well. For you know, there are components of these numbers that sometimes tells you a lot more than the actual total number. So you really need to uh, to you know to, to dissect them and and 
look for what you are really looking for, which is the real heartbeat uh, underneath this economy. And of course, a lot of economists and the marketplace will be watching these numbers, sure. not only for the numbers themselves and uh, what they indicate about sure. the economy's recovery, but also about jobs. A lot of That's these right. numbers can tell us a lot about who will be hiring and when they will start to be hiring. And absolutely, you know, in some, in some way, these numbers can be a lagging indicator rather than a leading indicator. You know, I think it's in terms of the leading indicator, you really have to look at the consumer sentiment. And the consumer sentiment of Friday was uh, actually came out to be on the negative side. And if we lose the consumer, then this whole thing becomes unravels again, you know, essentially it's going to be ultimately driven. Right now it's a lot of this driven by the industrial demand and, and, and business demand and we want to shift that to the real economy which is consumer oriented and that's what you should really watch. And markets, by the way, uh, are even a better indicator because you know, as if the stock market really falters here, mm -hmm. that is going to turn that around. Okay, so let's stop right there because right. we want to get to some of the company-specific news sure. of the week, like a name sure. like Walmart, for example, sure. like a name uh, for for Kraft or Merck. Right. Right. Do do you think that names like this can single-handedly move this market, or is the market distracted by other things like what's going on in the rest of the world, what's going on with this this economic news? Uh, I think these companies are too big to surprise us. Really, on the downside, they mm -hmm. really are guiding us very tightly. So I, uh, my personal feeling is that, that, that these, no, these numbers are not going to be market movers unless they come on on a very strong side of things. And that I don't expect to happen because uh, I think this economy has been gradually improving. So unless there are some magical uh, mm -hmm. problems in the numbers, I don't expect these guys to really come out and really surprise us in a very big way. And, uh, go ahead. And of course, these earnings numbers are going to be coming out while the markets are actually open. So, uh, you know, for those who are watching right, right. now, the markets are closed today. Right. Uh, give us a sense of what to look for, not only today, but the rest of the week. Some things can happen when the markets are closed. You know, this can really give an opportunity to some of the big global players uh, to really move these markets around. Uh, absolutely. All, all eyes are really on Greece right now because, you know, right behind that would be. Uh, Portugal and, and, and Spain, in our view, if that market really unravels, if they, they, the European Union uh, and cannot really come into an agreement with... You know, we, and I'm going to stop you right there because sure. we're going to talk about that in sure. just about 10 minutes and really have some time to dive deep into Absolutely. it, especially with this day when we have a little bit of a break and we can sure. kind of digest that news. So we'll come back to that in just a moment, Ron. Thank you very much. No I appreciate problem. it. Want to tell